Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some more Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign. Today we are continuing with Naboo Imperial Diplomacy. And as you might remember from the last video, we are now in the Galactic Civil War era or just after the formation of the Empire to be more exact, because we will now be following the 501st, but just as they became uh, Stormtroopers. So let's watch the cutscene and get straight into the gameplay. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple, to infiltrate the city, take out their leader, sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Oh yeah, as you can see now we're actually getting into some uh, story elements that are, well, quite different. Okay. Welcome to the capital city of Thebes. Tonight, we will be yeah, Com compared to how it was in the, uh, in the, in the, like, the real uh, story, I guess you could say. Because I'm not sure if this is referring to actually Padme, or well, pro no wait, she's dead by now, never mind. <laughs> that was a stupid statement, because obviously she died just at the end of the Clone Wars. Um, so this is the new queen. But I'm not sure, I don't think, honestly, I don't know what happened to Naboo after the Clone Wars, if there's any canon material rega regarding that. Um, I should probably have asked Alex from Star Wars to explain about that, because he would know. <laughs> let's put up the turret, and let's... wait, there we go, blaster pistol. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go straight for the, straight for the point there. Let's switch up to the snipe. We do some quick scopes here. Let's see if I can get some no scopes. Nope, wait, forgot to reload. And there we go, boom! Oh, I just got right. I think I'm gonna be better off not using the sniper right there. Let's go for just this. Oh, I can go for the Imperial Officer. Let's see how that one is. I think he has like this. Yeah, exactly. That's like the Geonosian. That's something I always felt was really weird. Like, I don't. I didn't see how that would fit the Empire. Why would they use Geonosian blasters? I don't know if that's if that has any base in canon either, or if that's just something they had in this game. Apparently not doing too well there. Let's see. I think it has some sort of like poison thing. Wow, I'm getting wrecked by this freaking boss right now. Look at this. I like, right as I spawn, I just get destroyed. Can we use the poison? No, that was actually damage boost, I think. Yeah, it affected my teammates. Wait, can I use the dark trooper yet? Yeah, there we go. One of my favorites from this game. No, actually... Oh, that's right. I think they remade that first... Because in the first game, the dark trooper... Uh, or was it called the Dark Trooper? It actually fired like a... A little bit like the EE4 actually when I think about it. It had the same spread as the EE4. Whereas in this game you have this electric thing which is also a little bit strange to be honest. They go to Plaza Command Post. Oh, rog roger, roger. Uh, uh, I think, you, yeah, you can charge it up like this. I wonder if it one shots. Because that was a quite long charge up time. Let's try. Let's go, charge it up and... Boom! Oh, nice! I killed both of them. That was quite powerful. What? Did you guys hear that sound? What the hell? Oh, wow. It actually one-shots without charging up. Okay. I think. Come on. I don't want the shiny food boxes. I need the, the blue ones to give me health. Okay, it does like 80% damage. So maybe I just need to charge it up a little bit to one-shot like that. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, it takes forever to actually fire it. What? I just get team killed! Are you kidding me? I didn't even know the bots were, could do that in this game. <laughs> Oops. Oops, that was not my intention. Yeah, the jump pack is... It's, yeah, it's basically like a jump pack in the current Battlefront. It's not an actual jump pack. I mean, it's not an actual jet pack, but it's more of a jump pack. Boom, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna jump past them. Let's go. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. They're actually putting up quite a much, quite a lot of resistance. We had like 40 troopers when this phase started, and now we have 14. So I'm gonna have to like infiltrate this alone, I think, because my teammates are not really doing a lot. Uh oh, 
Can I cap this alone or do I need to wipe out all the enemies first? Okay, it's actually capping all the other teammates. I mean enemies here. What? How did he not die from that? I had it like fully charged. I've got a bad feeling. I'm just gonna roll around here. It's like a solo mission. I don't know where my teammates are. They're not even close to me. <laughs> well, I'm doing the objective. Oh, and I died, of course. Let's just go with the same one again and see if we can jump in there. Only eight left. Wow, I'm actually gonna lose. I was expecting, since I'm playing on the normal difficulty, it's not it's not the easy one and it's not the hard one. Oops. Oh, don't die, guys. Like, I've died like two times or something. Oh, one left. What are they doing? Seriously, I'm actually gonna lose this, I think. Because my... My teammates are just dying. Like, they're just running and dying. Please... That's something I've always hated about this game, that if my... Like, if you play solo with bots, your teammates, your bots can just go in and die, and you will lose. Like, you're not even the last person, I think. But it has been stuck on one person for a long time now, though. So if I die, I'll definitely lose. But see if I can get it now. Uh oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm just gonna have to, like... Uh oh, yeah, I've got a bad feeling, but come on, almost there, almost there. I should get more reinforcements when I get it. And there we go, nice. So far, so good. 40 more. Whew. Now capture the guard post past the embassy. Guard if you need some extra right. firepower, we've managed to Ooh, a tank Sweet. Let's get some tanks here. Use it wisely. I'm gonna wreck your face. And this you're going down, turret. Come on, where's the missiles? There we go. Boom. Oh, is there I'm backing onto someone. Uh oh. There's a couple of tanks here as well. Come on! I need- where's all my troopers? I need someone to be on the secondary spot in this vehicle. Boom, there we go. Wrecked. Let's get out of here. Oh wow, there's a lot of tanks here. Where's my teammates at? Why do I feel like this is like a solo mission? I should have played this co-op. And I should also have picked the officer, because I think it's the officer that can repair. Or maybe- no, maybe it's not. It's the uh... I guess it's called. I'm not sure what the class is called again. I should remember that. Ooh, gar now I got a kill streak reward, which gives me damage reduction. Wait, do I have to jump out the cap? Oh, apparently I do. Yeah, now I'm gonna be a little bit more tanky, so that's good. I'm just gonna cap it. Seems like that's what you gotta do. Just run past the enemies and cap stuff. Look at that! I lost 25 troopers already, and I just went straight for this point, so. This campaign is not not a face roll, you know. Got to be a little bit tactical. Now we must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it. All right. The queen will be ours. Oh wow. Okay. Let's charge this up. Jesus. Let's see if I can get multiple of them. What? They didn't die from that? Okay. Wait. Wait. I'm gonna charge up again. Oh wait. I have the nades. I completely forgot that. Let's throw the nades in there. Oops. Oh, perfect. That cleared the whole place. Why didn't I think of that right away? Those nades are me are being more effective than the actual... You're dead. Bye-bye. Oh! Jedi oh. <laughs> Apparently... Oh, let me the Jedi. Okay, sure. Apparently I destroyed this one without even intending to. Well, good for me. Why can't I pick this up? I need those free nades. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of Jedi there. I'm just gonna chuck nades at them, I think. Ooh, that was a perfect throw. Bye-bye. Boom! Does it die from that? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna nade them. Nade those darn Jedi. So let's see if we can, can... Oh, wow. Ooh, you got wrecked. Let's nade those. Why is it taking forever to nade? Like, you... Oh, wait. Never mind. I don't have any left. Charge that thing up. I don't know what these je Jedi are doing, but now they're dead. At least one of them. Oh! How many Jedi's do they have here on Naboo? More than the Jedi Temple. Boom! Sniped in the air. Wait, oh, there's one more. Oh, now they're actually getting an indicator on them. But these are like the worst Jedi I've ever seen. <laughs> Get wrecked by a standard jump troop. Like, only nine reinforcements left and I'm not even dying. Why do my teammates suck so bad? Oh, here's a double-bladed light. I mean, dual wielding. Dual wielding. Jedi Pada one, really? Oh, he could block that, okay. Let's see if I can nade him. Yeah, what are you gonna do, dude? Can't can't touch me. Oh, oh, he almost... Wow, look at his health, though. It's regenerating really fast. Boom. Perfect timing. Uh, 
we have one trooper left. Like, and I've, I've, I can't really say I could have done it a lot faster. Like, I've been pretty quick here. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that the next couple of missions are probably going to be quite tricky considering how close I've been to losing this one. Because my teammates, all they do is just run in and die for like two seconds. I'm going to have to be pretty damn careful here. But it seems though that like it, it's not like in uh, normal instant action because if I if you have one reinforcements left you, royal guard are trying to escape. Quickly. Um, you, must eliminate the you can actually cost. you can actually die. Uh, you can actually lose because uh, a teammate dies, but here it seems to be actually you that are the last person. Like it went down to one re reinforcement very quickly, but then it's been stuck there, which is good for me. However, if I die once I think I need to replay the entire mission. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kill, see if I can kill. Let's hope she's not like a really powerful. Oh wow, okay, she's pretty tanky though. I'm just gonna throw nades. Oh! Keep throwing, oh, she has like a sniper pistol. I'm a little bit scared that she can like one shot me. And there's a bunch of Jedi going after me as well. Woo! This is gonna be a quite tricky. Oh, she hit me, but it didn't, it didn't do too much damage luckily. No, no, no! Jesus, that was close. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, roll, roll! Jam, this Jedi is actually being really scary right now. Oh my god, jump away. Oof! Come on, come on. No, 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 no! Oof, he missed me. Yes, there we go. Man, the rolling, the rolling in this game. Oof! Without it, I would have been so dead. Oh! Why does she have so many Jedi? I thought I killed them all. Come on, fire, fire, fire! No, 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 no! Oof! Okay. Now it's only her left. Oh wait, it's a timer. I didn't even notice that. One le one minute and thirty seconds left. <sighs> Let's. No, 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 please. Oof, I thought I was gonna miss that. Do I have a normal pistol I could use? I think that's gonna be easier to be honest. I'm gonna use that instead. Let's nade her. Ooh, this mission is actually. I'm surprised though how like tricky it was, since you only have basically have one life. Oh, I'm almost dead. I cannot die here. I, I still have one minute left. So. I can be oh there's a health droid I'm gonna stand close to that and just murk like wreck her yes almost dead come on a few more hits a few more hits die no it's like one health left okay there we go there we go nice Oof. that was a pretty tough mission you gotta say <laughs> saving countless lives my ass Oof. That was a fun mission, I gotta say. With the Queen eliminated, Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist. Ooh yeah, Vader's fist. And next up we have Mustafar, preventative measures. The Separatist threat is stirring again and lingers in orbit over Mustafar. I think that... is that space battles? Let's see. Oh, you can actually bypass the space, that's right. Um, so yeah, this... Uh, let's go. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso. A Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission. But when we saw the fleet of droid ships hovering over the planet, we suddenly realized that Delso's denial mechanisms were a little more dangerous than we'd imagined. That's quite interesting, I gotta say. I was kind of expecting it to be, uh, you know, uh, yeah, like, well, basically, like. Sir, the droids have landed uh, on our ship. We can't oh, okay, launch our okay. Fires. Yeah, like, I was expecting it to be, uh, you know, like, when Vader went to kill all the Separatist leaders at Mustafar, I felt like, why would there be another Separatist leader at Mustafar when he's already, like, cleared out the place and pretty much made his castle later on? But oh well. Because, I mean, this game was, well, let's see, it was released in 2005. That was the same time as Revenge of the Sith, right? So it doesn't really align with that story, to be honest, considering that, uh, well, considering that he's already been there and cleared up, like, all the Separatists, why would they still have, like, a huge army here? Okay, I'm gonna die now, but I'm just gonna drop some bombs here and roll away. Oh, 
Well, well actually this one is probably gonna be better for uh, for this particular part of the mission whereas the other trooper can uh, heal the ship so that's gonna be better like the pilot is better when you're flying obviously whereas this one is better for infantry wow it's ta taking a lot of damage come on one more hit fire fire there we go now let's wipe out the remnants all right, men. now get into your fighters and give those droids all you've got Destroy their fighters and bombs. All right. Watch out for the well, pilots. can you guys kill me? I wanna. But that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. I wanna switch to a pilot. Come on, I have like one health, bots. What are you doing? Sometimes they're super deadly, whereas right now they refuse to kill me. Okay, I guess I'll just take a normal one then. Come on, shoot me, dude. Just shoot me. I'm standing right here. Like, how is this? His aim is like a stormtrooper's aim. What are you doing, dude? He can't look. He can't hit me. He literally cannot hit me. I don't know what he's doing. Are some bots programmed to not be able to hit you at all? He's like, he's not even firing close to me. I'm just trying to... Like, oh, that, oh, there's a nade. Let's walk into that. Come on, shoot me, dude. How hard can it be? This is the worst... Oh, there we go. That took a while. <laughs> worst droid I've ever seen. Now let's go to the Imperial Pilot and let's go with the TIE Interceptor. Now let's see, I think, there we go. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! Got him. Oh, these guys are really dying fast. Oh, you wanna fight? I'll wreck your face. Oops. Now I'm gonna wreck. Oh, this is. Yeah, that was probably the. Yeah, auto turrets. Those, the auto turrets in this game are so annoying. So glad they aren't in. Uh, <laughs> in EA's Battlefront. There's a CIS bomber. Woo! Oops. Oh, that was clumsy. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go for a TIE Fighter this time. Mostly because he was the closest one. And the Interceptor was a lot more, a lot easier to shoot. I think the, it has a higher velocity. There we go, that should be all. What's the next mission? Attack their shields. Use a bomber to deliver the maximum damage. Oh yeah, because okay, so now I'm supposed to be a bomber. Wait, was I supposed to destroy the shield? Or was it? I think so. I think you can just go in there, right? And just bomb it. Let's let's try that. Right. Is that what you can usually do? If I'm supposed to destroy the shield. Let's try, let's try it out. Because it doesn't say that in the mission, but I know that's something you can do. So I'm gonna give that a go and see if that works. Oh no, they've actually closed this off so you can't get in there. Well, that's boring. I'm gonna take <laughs> one of their bombers then. Use their own bombers against them. Oh wow, nice one. Okay, let's go. Bomb the ship. Whoa! Okay. Let's get around and bombs away. I think I can just fire anywhere on the ship because the shield basically protects the entire ship. Yeah, one more bomb. One more. Uh oh, here's all the turrets. Careful, careful. Oh, nice. There we go. Someone else broke it. Invaders just issued a new order. He wants someone to land in the enemy's hangar, steal one of their strike bombers, and oh. return it to our. Wait, what? I already, I already have the. Oh wow, that was easy. That was just so lucky. Apparently, the mission was to actually steal one of these, which I already have. But I wonder if that's if if that's gonna work or if it's gonna bug out. Hopefully, it should work. I mean, I. Shouldn't have to land in their hangar, consider it. Since I already have it. Yep. Well, that was easy. Excellent job, pilots. Lord Vader will be most pleased. Was that all? <laughs> well, that was so short because I, 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 trust me, I did not remember that that was the actual goal. I just randomly took it. Um, uh, but that was quite. A, that was a lucky shot.
The slight whiff of nostalgia the 501st had enjoyed fighting the droid fleet over Mustafar had already grown sour by the time we'd established orbital positions. Now it was time to find out what this was all about. So yeah, I am assuming... Let's see. Yeah, I'm assuming that the next mission is gonna be on Mustafar, obviously, let's see. Yeah, so there we go. We have to destroy the Genos. I don't the Genosian insurrectionist. I don't remember his name, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next mission, um, which I'm gonna do in the next video. So if you guys are still enjoying this Battlefront 2 playthrough series, please let me know in the comments below. The last couple of videos have been doing really good, and I'm really enjoying uh, making these videos because I haven't played a campaign for a long time, basically. So it's a lot of fun to experience it again. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you. Thank you.